Uh, back to today's top stories. Uh, it's not about love, unfortunately. It's about... Well, it is about love, really, because we all love our teens, don't we? Yeah. But do we love our teens spending too much time on their phones? It can be at the detriment of their social skills, Nick. Isn't that right? Yeah, ab absolutely, it's right. Um, hardly surprising. This is a top doctor in the United States warning British teenagers are spending so much time online they're losing the ability to hold conversations with others in person. Um, well, my, uh, my, my partner has a 17-year-old boy who is the most smashing, easygoing lad in the world, uh, and there was one time when I actually texted him, I am trying to speak to you when he was at the <laughs> dinner table, and he only looked up because the text went through. But look, we'd all do it, wouldn't we, if we could? If I was a teenager, I'd do it again. It's, it's as we've said so many times, there are so many benefits from having this incredible bit of kit in your hand, where it is that you're able to get all the information you need, but it, you, you have to use it wisely like everything else, yeah. and that's the pressure point, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you don't need to speak to people, Sonia. Yeah, well, this is the thing, and, it, you know, the guy who's warning about this is quite... A, he's a very senior US medic. It's a guy called Vivek Murthy, who's a US Surgeon General, who's here on a visit and is warning about the dangers of, of phones. I think the, the difficult thing is absolutely there are loads of positive benefits, but we all know that our devices are addictive and can be quite addictive, and that's for us as adults, let alone for young people. So he's warning about, you know, young people losing social skills because they're talking to each other on, you know, WhatsApps and whatever trendy new apps is a thing for if you're a teenager. You know, they're using that to communicate instead. There's also all the other stuff, like there's a porn that kids are exposed to online, yeah. other kinds of kind of harmful content. So um, there's a bullying that's, that, you know, you sometimes see online. So I think it's important not to be too... Um, do mongery, scaremongery about it, as as Nick says. But the tricky thing I think for parents and parents negotiating this is it's you know, we, we always say everything in moderation, but it's really difficult to um, enact that with your teenager or sometimes even with younger kids, you know. So uh, it's, I think it's a really tricky one for also, parents to negotiate. Some of these are just rites of passage that teenagers go through, and they just happen to be going through it with the technology that's available. I'm not saying that, uh, that there's not concern here, but. When I was a kid, and I used to go around Neil Butler's house and we all played computer games... Neil Butler? Yeah, it's one of my oldest right, mates, Neil. Neil Butler, yeah! <laughs> uh, I'd go around Neil's house and we'd all go around Neil's house and we'd play on the ZX Spectrum and then we'd go to school and we'd talk about it. That was, you know, our parents would be like, oh, don't spend too much time on a computer, but at the yes. same time, it was still a social thing. Like, yes. you know, you would be ringing your friend up yeah. when you got home on the landline. Which is no, and then, you yes. know, what's, what was the... A SMN, whatever, you know, back in the day. MSN yeah. 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 oh Messenger. Yeah. yeah, I remember yeah. that. WhatsApp. Oh, my God, so we're revealing our age. It's important not to shut the baby out of the bathwater. One thing he did say, which is interesting, I met young people in the UK, and one thing that came across very clearly was that many of them recognised the power of in-person interaction. So I think we, I think we, we do our young people a disservice sometimes. Yeah. Um, but feel their lives are increasingly online. You would like to think that there will be a reckoning here and actually people, smart young kids, will just will be able to just kind of turn away from this. Nick? Just, just, well, just a quick word for younger viewers. Um, Dermot said landline. If you want to Google, <laughs> you, can, you, can find, you can find out what a landline is, guys. Landline. And, and tell them. So interesting. <laughs> yeah, look, it is. And uh, by the way... I think parents have a role to play here because you should try and engage. You're not going to keep him or her all the time, but is it so wrong to say, right, actually, when we're sitting and we're having supper or we're sitting and having lunch or we're doing whatever we're doing, just put the phone down for yeah. half an hour. The world is not going to come to an end. So, yes, it is right, but I do think this is often, oh, they, this person should be doing... Let's get some parental responsibility into that. I don't think that would harm. Yeah, I agree. I Definitely. do think you, your children do come back to you. Like, my son is 19 now, and he's kind of gone the other way in that he wants to have conversations with me all the time. I was it's like... Your dad. I kind of liked it before. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. <laughs> <laughs> he literally wants to know what happens to my day. He texts me, FaceTimes it, which is really nice. So they do come it's back to you. They boy, do come back to you. No, no, they, they just want, he just wants to know when you're out of the house. Don't kid yourself. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to know when you... Come when on, you, Alison. Wait, home, home, love. It's what obvious time, why he's what, doing what that. Exactly. No, don't rush back. <laughs> Bye-bye. Love you. Oh, don't say that, Nick. Oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, you've actually reminded me of silver shoppers. You're a silver oh. shopper, aren't you? Uh, well, well, listen... <laughs> and lots I, um, of silver he, shoppers. Yes, I know. Th 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 this is because Aldi yeah. are going to be putting tags in Werther's Originals and um, slippers. But I'm quite relieved to hear this piece of news, <laughs> Alison, because I have to share with you, recently, every time I've gone into Boots or Lloyd's or yes. any other chemist, 
and I've been around the Viagra or the Sanatogen counter, <laughs> I've noticed... I've noticed the security guards watching me. <laughs> this is clearly what it's about. Yes, apparently silver shoppers are stealing Werther's originals. I'll, I'll be honest with you, I do like a Werther's. Yeah, Have that's you what I would challenge, different... this idea that Werther's originals are only for the over 60s. I would imagine they appeal to Oh, right, no, they course. appeal to me, and obviously <laughs> you can tell I'm not over 60, do you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, but there's lots of different Werther's originals. There's ones with chocolate in oh, it. Okay. There's the ones with uh, <laughs> cream they're not originals, then, are they? If they're originals variations. The hard, in my head, the they're, they're originals. The they taste. One, the hard... Yeah, the original yeah. is a hard sweet. I haven't tried the ones with chocolate in them. I'm going to have to give them a go. Mick, do you, is your code name for Viagra Werther's Original? So <laughs> yes, it is. That is actually what she says. Uh, she says, can, can you get out the Werther's Original, darling? I want the earth to move tonight. Oh, my tonight. goodness, that has yeah. given this story a whole, <laughs> a whole new, new level. layer. Yeah. yeah. Oh, dear. Good. I mean, we're, Wonderful. Yeah. we're just I'm all about love today. Now. I'm in such oh, trouble now. Oh, lovely. Oh, God. <laughs> Where do we stand on the so, on oh. the return of the granny trolley. There's something uh, I thought I'd never say. Granny trolley is reportedly now in fashion with Gen Z. Um, loving them. So, I mean... Well, they're very oh, handy. They're and they're so excellent. practical, aren't they? Yeah. So, I, so, I actually have a confession to make. So, um, so I don't have a car. Now I can afford the £4 delivery charge, so I get my food delivered to me. But when I was younger, I actually didn't shell out for a granny trolley. I just take my little suitcase and fill it up with all my shopping though. and wheel it all home. Because I was like, why buy a separate trolley why when you can use yourself? your wheelie suitcase? Yeah. But yeah, but I think the concept... Oh, somebody's at the, at the door. door. Oh. Oh, it's Gok. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Latest trend. Think, Gok? Here he is. Do you know what? Me. I'm going to say right now, I have <laughs> shopping trolleys. I love shopping trolleys. I, I like really the do. Of that I mean, one. look at this. Watch it. Watch it move. Look, all good. Look, here's me. This is me. This is from my Instagram. Is that with your my shopping, shopping trolley? trolley? This one isn't, but on the, on the screen there, just there. So this is no word of a lie. I love a shopping trolley. I've been styling for well <laughs> over two decades. Yeah. And I absolutely have always used either a suitcase to go and get all the clothes or stuff. I never, ever go shopping without my shopping trolley. Well, I that, love that it. That is actually really nice, is it? It's possible? great, isn't it? And it's sturdy. You don't get backache. You can fit loads of stuff in there. Yeah, the, and I'm the, all the, about an accessory. Also, colour. Exactly. Yeah. It's all about... Yeah, yeah, color color today. Today. Just watch this, watch this. Off he goes. Look how he models. He's such a good model. Oh, he's just natural. Yes, yeah, so natural Chanel's model. bringing out uh, a shopping trolley. Like, they're, they're all going to be all the rage. Really? Nick, would you get a shopping trolley? I'm just thinking how much Viagra I can get in Gox trolley there. That's, <laughs> that's a year's supply. You yeah. are not putting your Viagra in my trolley. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on, what if I ask nicely? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why you keep saying that. You know you don't use it. Anyway, listen, yeah, thank you so <laughs> much for joining us, Nick. Thanks, Sonia. Thank you, Sonia. Thanks, and Nick. thank you, Gop, for modelling the shopping trolley. Um, thank you so much. Uh, it's competition time.